possible to make a sequence of numbers following a clear order than to discover that this sequence appears all around us, in nature, in our body, in the galaxy, and even in those pretty flowers. It may be unbelievable, but actually that happened. My name is Fatima Zahra Akhyar, and today I'm going to show you the Fibonacci sequence. Eight centuries before, the Italian mathematician Leonardo Fibonacci contemplates a problem about rabbits breeding. What he found was extremely fantastic. He obtained a sequence of numbers named the Fibonacci sequence. As you probably noticed, each number is the sum of the last two digits. Have you ever taken the time to carefully examine the number of pebbles on the flower? If not, let us see this one. It has exactly one pebble. Others have five pebbles, 30, 21. All those numbers are parts of the Fibonacci sequence. Just like the number of spirals in a pine cone or in a pineapple. Fascinating, isn't it? Actually, not all flowers have a number of their pebbles figuring in the Fibonacci sequence, but most of them do. A coincidence? Maybe. Now we will translate this sequence of numbers into actual physical geometry. First, we draw two small squares of size 1 next to each other, because 1 is the first number in the Fibonacci sequence. On top of both of them, we draw another square of size 2, the third number in the Fibonacci sequence, another of size 3, and so on. Finally, we will find a picture similar to this one. Here I made the arcs in the squares and I find the Fibonacci spiral. It seems like snails. Actually, this spiral appears in waves in the ocean, in compositions of arts, and in our galaxy as well. These are not the limits of the magic of this sequence. Let's have a see to the ratio between two consecutive Fibonacci numbers. The ratio between 5 and 3 is 1.66. The ratio between the 11th and the 10th Fibonacci numbers is 1.618, which approaches the golden ratio. Yes, a diamond sequence always gives a golden ratio. Just in our DNA, the length of the curve in each helix is 34 angstroms and the width is 21 angstroms. Those are two Fibonacci numbers and their ratio is close to the golden ratio. The Fibonacci sequence and the golden ratio are two mathematical phenomena that we can find everywhere and the scientists, until now, still discover their secrets. Galileo said, the nature's great book is written in mathematics. That sounds right. 